Hi guys, it's me. Happy Friday. Now, this is the look that I'm going to be showing you how to do today. It's like a really cool smoky eye in like bronzes. I'm going to call it like the ultimate bronze smoky eye, but it's really quick and easy. Perfect for festival season. Um, and perfect just for a night out. Just generally perfect because it like suits everyone. It doesn't matter on your skin tone, your eye colour, your hair colour, anything, your age. It's really quick, really easy. Trust me. But very excitingly, you might remember me mentioning about a giveaway I'm doing with the amazing Sophia Webster, who is one of the UK's best shoe designers, and I've headed up her London Fashion Week show for the past two seasons, obviously designing the makeup. And look what she's given me to give away to you lot. <gasps> Oh my god, these are the Heaven Tempest Orchid shoes and they are so beautiful. Look at the silver heel and the waves and the colours and oh, oh, very jealous because I want them. But it doesn't matter what size these ones are by the way because you will win your size in them, okay? You're going to win your size in these beautiful shoes. All you've got to do is watch the video and find out how to enter at the end of it and I will say to you all, good luck my friends, good luck. Over to the tutorial. Hi you lovely lot, happy Friday. I've only just recovered from a skydive last week. Still very surreal but absolutely amazing. So if you haven't done it, honestly, I highly recommend it because it was just like crazy. But anyway, enough of jumping out of planes, <laughs> we're back to makeup today. And I thought I would do one of my favourite going out looks at the moment, which is the ultimate bronze smoky eye. And you don't have to go out and buy the exact eyeshadows that I'm going to use. You can use any bronzy brown eyeshadows that you want to create this look and I know you've all got loads of those in the makeup drawer <laughs> but obviously I am going to start the tutorial with brows you know I'm obsessed you know it's all about the brows you all know about the benefit brow collection that launched on the 24th of June did any of you manage to get any at the one day flash sale on the 29th of May yes no yes no uh, well 24th of June is when it launches globally. Um, but actually, on the front of Elle magazine, right now, you can get the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number two and number six. So get it before anyone else, and Goof Proof is amazing. But my fave is precisely my brow pencil. And I'm just gonna use this to start with, just to kind of like fill in any little gaps. See how I've got a little gap there? Fill, fill, fill. And also to just lengthen the brow as well. And then you've got the spoolie on the other end to just brush and blend. And you can see my brows look fuller in seconds. That's not done, that's done. And then I'm gonna take my other fave, which is the 3D brow tones, and this is number four, the bronze color. And this is just gonna highlight your brow give it like an extra dimension and if you want any more information on the products and you haven't watched my big brow reveal video a couple of videos back then do so brows are done and now for the eyes now really important when you're doing quite a smoky eye is to prime the eyes so I'm just using stay don't stray all over the lids it's gonna take away any redness even out the skin tone and keep your eyeshadow in place I'm gonna start with a matte brown this one here and just remember buffing is everything so I'm using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just start in the center of the eye and keep your eye open, which sounds a bit strange, but then you can feel where the socket of the eye is because that's how high you want to go. So just blend, 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 backwards and forwards, little circular motions as well. You don't really, for this look, want to take it any further out than this point at the moment, okay? So just layer that up. Then I'm gonna take that exact same color and go underneath the lower lash line. And just blend that through too. And you can use a cotton bud for this or a brush. I'm using one of these kind of like, I don't know what you call that, flat headed brushes I suppose. And So you could just put some mascara on, a bit of liner, and your base and leave it at that. But no, 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 we're gonna add more brown. So I'm actually going to use a shimmery 
brown this time and I'm going to take it just onto the lid here, so the lower lid and then buff it outwards again so you're getting this sheen but you're not losing the matte from the corners of the smoke. And it's always best to blend with a clean brush, so that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm actually just going to take a black eyeshadow and just take that onto the inner corner just to really give it some depth of colour. See so like that and then buff it inwards. Then I'm going to add a little bit of metallic and I've got this beautiful bronzy colours by Is It The Masker. I'm going to pat some into the centre of the eyelid like this just to give your look a bit of a lift. Then rather than do a black liner in the waterline, I've actually got this pencil by Charlotte Tilbury called Rock and Coal. And it's like a purpley brown, oh Elizabeth Violet, there you go. So it's like a violety, purpley brown type colour. I'm just gonna put that into the waterline. on both sides, as it just frames the eye, but isn't as harsh as black. It's a little bit nicer for summer. I'm just gonna do the top waterline too. And then actually, because I like this color, I'm gonna take a bit under the lower lashes too. And it's really soft, so you can just use that and almost don't need to blend it, because it is that soft. Just using the actual pencil to blend. Now I might not be using black liner, but I'm definitely gonna use black mascara from this. So this is their real. I'm just gonna do the bottom lashes first and then the top lashes. Literally I did like three coats of their real. <laughs> so I want it to be like really cool and thick, almost clumping together lashes. And then for the base, so just gonna put some sunbeam all over my face, you know I like to do that, just because I want to give myself that glow underneath my foundation and this is how I achieve it, because actually then you've got your glow lasting all day rather than just highlighting, which I will do as well. The more the merrier when it comes to glow. Then I've got my Bare Real Mascara, no I haven't. Then I've got my Hello Flawless Oxygen Well in Honey. I'm just going to use my fingers because I don't want to put too much foundation on because I want to make sure my skin looks flawless but not heavy. It's my worst. I hate heavy foundation. Always do a lighter foundation and then a heavier concealer where you need it. Otherwise you look like you're kicked in makeup. Then take your concealer and I've got Stay Don't Stray. I'm not going to play in the football game, I promise. <laughs> but I've got Stay Don't Stray um, and which is like we always say is like a primer but I love it as concealer because it has the yellow undertone it just takes down any redness and it certainly covers enough for me so under the eyes and anywhere I have redness then of some hula just to warm the skin tone up so under the cheekbones is where I'm putting it blend 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 oh my hair's getting in the way and then just on the temples too down the nose, on the, basically everywhere, but don't do it like that because otherwise it won't blend properly. Then some blusher, gonna use some rocketeer, apples of cheek, and then some highlighter, and I'm not sure I could be more obsessed with the Pat McGrath Labs uh, Skin Fetish in number three, this is the gold pigment. I'm just gonna like chuck this everywhere where I wanna have highlight, which is like down the nose. I mean, oh, corner of the eyes. <gasps> I've been using this loads on shoots and it is everything. And then for the lips, I've got all my nudes here. I've got to work out what colour I'm actually going to use, but just kind of like a peachy, pinky, nudie. That doesn't help, does it? You know what I mean? This kind of colour. Any kind of nudie colour. Pat it on. 
add a gloss if you want. I'm not going to. That is a really quick, ultimate smoky eye in bronze. Kind of with a bit of purple. But anyway, it looks good. It's really quick. It's really easy. It's great for festivals too because you can do this in a tent. Honestly, you can. And you can just stick a couple of gems on and then you've got the whole festival vibe going. I'll put a few feathers in your hair. I will be doing some like proper festival looks uh, very soon as festival season is upon us. Although I don't think I'm going to go to any this year. I'm going to Ibiza Rocks in Ibiza. I'm not quite sure if that counts as a festival. I'm assuming there's no mud there. So don't forget that these beauties could be yours. Oh, I'm so jealous. I kind of want to keep them myself. And these ones are in my size. No, I've got to send them back. But yeah, so subscribe to my channel, share it, whatever. But subscribe and write below in the comments why you should win these shoes. And then I will be um, choosing the winner from the comments below. <gasps> and it doesn't matter what size you are because they're going to send them to you in whatever size you want. They are so beautiful. Love, 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 love. Okay. See you next Friday. I'm going to announce the winner, by the way, on my video next Friday. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.